Build on Lego sets is great fun, but Lego being Lego, they like to go that extra mile to make the building experience memorable for even the most tenured Lego builder. And that includes putting little secret easter eggs or references in their Lego sets. In this video we're going to go through 10 of them, so let's roll the intro and work our way through them. Starting off with our first hidden detail and of course, as it's my favourite range, it has to be a Star Wars set. If you bought the Super Star Destroyer Lego set number 75356, you probably noticed these random studs in random colours whilst building the ship and wondered what exactly was their purpose. Now Lego is known to use random colours in places where they're not seen during the construction of sets, but in this case these studs are actually a reference to a scene in the Star Wars movies where Darth Vader has a meeting with bounty hunters aboard his Super Star Destroyer ship. These little studs represent Darth Vader himself, Boba Fett, Bosk, Denga, IG-88, Forlom and Zuckus in nano form and is a nice little easter egg to one of the famous scenes from the film series. Lego cars feature license plates like their real life counterparts but Lego doesn't just put random letters and numbers and call it a day. Instead, they usually use the designer's initials on the license plate, like in the police dog van set number 4441, which was designed by Samuel Johnson and therefore features the initials SJ, followed by the set number on the license plate of the car. Lego doesn't just use the designer's initials in some sets though. In the case of the Ford Mustang set number 10265, which features two sets of license plates, one set reading GT1967, which indicates the the trim level of the car and the year it was manufactured and another set which reads P52 AK2 which is a reference to the designer who used a similar license plate when they designed the Volkswagen Beetle Lego set. If you are really enjoying this video so far please consider giving it a like and maybe subscribing for more videos like this as well as reviews and mini builds. With Indiana Jones and Star Wars both being made by George Lucas, it's natural that the odd easter egg reference to each other would be snuck into their respective Lego sets. That proved true in the Indiana Jones Escape from the Lost Tomb set number 77013. Whilst building this set you may have noticed a few notable droids hidden amongst the hieroglyphics stickers used in the set. These are of course references to R2-D2 and C-3PO from the Star Wars movies. There is also what looks to be a Bionicle and Exo-Force helmet hidden amongst the other stickers too, which references to their respective LEGO series. Now ever since LEGO released the little brickhead sets, They've been a hit with Lego collectors looking for a Lego recreation of their favourite characters and some of these sets also feature little easter eggs too. One in particular is the Simpsons Homer Brickhead which actually has two. The first being his small brain which if you know the Homer character fits quite appropriately and his belly full of donuts because he absolutely loves his donuts. Lego also likes to be a bit cheeky with the hidden details in their Lego sets and poke a little bit of fun. This was the case with the Rainforest Animals set number 31031 which features a parrot and a frog in a 3 in 1 set. The set comes with these 1x1 one one brown round plates which represent seeds and can be fed to the parrot. But what goes in of course must come out. Oh yes, this parrot poops ladies and gentlemen. Anywho, one of the best movie Lego sets that ever be brought out is the Ghostbusters Firehouse set number 75827. This set features a number of hidden secrets, one of them being a tribute to one of the cast members who sadly passed away. The first secret is this map behind the snooker slash pool table. This map features the actual location of the firehouse in real life Manhattan that was actually used in the movie. And just below that, this arcade machine features a pixel art version of the Marshmallow Man, who of course was also featured in the movie. Now whilst the set was in the design phase, a member of the Ghostbusters cast actually passed away. Harold Remus, who played Egon Spengler, passed away in 2014. Sticker number 5 in this set, which features a pinboid, has a note on it that says R.I.P.H.R., which pays respects to the actor, which is a nice inclusion in this set. Marvel, like Lego, love putting easter eggs or hidden details in their movies, so it was natural that easter eggs would also appear in Marvel Lego sets. 
One such set is the Superhero Airport Battle, set number 76051. This set depicts the airport battle from the Avengers Civil War movie and includes a number of the characters from the movie itself. One inclusion, or should I say three inclusions, is the suitcases. One suitcase is Sokovia, which is of course in reference to the Age of Ultron movie. The second suitcase has the letters BLL on it in reference to Bulland, which is the place where Lego was actually found. And finally, the third suitcase, which says Wakanda, which, if you didn't guess already, is in reference to the African-themed country featured in the Marvel movies. Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone set number 21331 is probably one of the best Sonic-themed sets of them all, and with Sonic having such a rich history in gaming culture, this set was bound to have some Easter eggs, and there's a fair few. If you turn the set around and look at the bottom left corner, you'll notice a secret sticker with what looks to be a scoreboard on it with the letters on the right and the numbers on the left but these aren't just any letters and numbers start with letters you have viv who is the fan that designed this set. LCK is the initials of the graphic designer and Sam is the first name of the set's official Lego designer. When I finish there though, on to the numbers. 281020 is a reference to one of Viv's family member's birth dates. 76642 is what numbers you'd need to press on an old mobile phone with T9 type keyboard to spell the word Sonic. And last but not least, 1991, which is of course reference to the uh, Sonic Burst on to the scene. Being a Harry Potter fan, I absolutely want the Hogwarts Castle Lego set number 71043, and with it depicting a location for the series of Harry Potter movies, there is a fair few Easter eggs, one of which is the set's piece count. The piece count for this set is 6,020, which is a mahoosive set, but it's also the set number designation for an old vintage Lego set, which featured a magic shop, and was also the first Lego set to include a wizard. And for our last easter egg we have the NASA Apollo Saturn V Lego set number 92176. This set represents a key piece of machinery used to get to the moon and is insanely detailed and accurate to its real life counterpart. So you're probably wondering where's the hidden secret in this set? Like the Hogwarts castle this set's piece count is the reference to something. The set's piece count of 1969 is in reference to the year 1969 where the Apollo moon landing mission took place which was actually achieved using the Saturn V rocket. And just for the hell of it I've got a bonus Lego easter egg for you. Do you own the Koenigsegg Yesco set number 76900? Did you notice these random blue and yellow bricks used in the construction of the hypercar which are then hidden later on? Those blue and yellow bricks come together to form the Swedish flag which is of course where the Koenigsegg car manufacturer is based. How awesome is that? Do you know of any easter eggs or hidden secret details that I haven't featured in this video? Comment them below and maybe I'll make another video on this topic in the future. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. For now though, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.